Apple just released iOS 18.3 with several new features and bug fixes. Here's everything new and what's coming in iOS 18.4. Before I show you what's in this update, if you want to keep up to date with the latest Apple news, consider hitting that subscribe button. Apple first started testing iOS 18.3 at the end of 2024, and like with most .3 updates, it is primarily a bug fix update. But Apple did manage to include a number of new features for us to talk about. It comes about a month after the release of iOS 18.2 that debuted on December 11th. If you want to learn more about that update, which had a bunch of new features in it, you can find it linked here. The update is a full download, which is why here on my iPhone 16 Pro, it's a whopping 7 plus gigs. Depending on your device, this size will vary. One of the first changes is that Apple Intelligence will now be enabled by default. It's opt out. If you are a new user with 18.3 installed, or you upgrade to iOS 18.3, Apple Intelligence will be automatically on. To opt out, you can go into Settings, Apple Intelligence, and toggle it off. This is designed to help increase the number of users of Apple Intelligence as it no longer has a waitlist to join. Apple Intelligence is more than just Genmoji, but a lot of other smaller useful features, so Apple wants to make sure everyone has access to them and doesn't have to go and manually turn them on. Of all the things it does, let me know which one you found most useful, if any at all, down below in the comments. Speaking of Apple intelligence, Apple has temporarily removed at least one of its features. There were some unfortunate summarized headlines coming out of Apple News, so now Apple has, for the time being, removed summaries from the News app notification. These will return in the future as Apple looks to improve them. To go with that, Apple has also made them more recognizable on the lock screen. Earlier this year, I was at CES, so I had to stop by our sponsor's booth, ESR, which had a great bunch of new products on display, as usual. Starting off with an updated version of their popular cases. Of course, you have MagSafe and all of that, but these new ones have glass covering over the camera control. It is super smooth and gives you just the same feeling as not even using a case at all or even using Apple's cases. It is super reactive, smooth, responsive, like everything that you want a camera control cover to be. Plus, my favorite version of these ESR cases has that stash stand built in to the camera ring for some added extra features. I love that these updated these in both the hybrid and their classic cases. Next up, they have their 3-in-1 charger. This is just always a hit. So if you haven't seen their latest version, it does include CryoBoost. You can see the light actually as I remove the phone. That means that that fan has been going and it cools your phone, active cooling to help keep it lower temperature to improve charging performance. And as I said, it is a 3-in-1 charger. So I've got my Apple Watch charge, fast charging on the back, my iPhone in standby mode, and then a set of AirPods there on the front on that small little cheap hat. The last product I was checking out is the Halo Lock Mag Mouse. This is entirely new. It has this little stand here that attaches to the top of your laptop magnetically so the mouse doesn't go anywhere. Has four directions of scrolling for the wheel. Has an integrated USB-C cable in the bottom so you can charge it up anytime you need to. And it works with either an RF transmitter there over USB or you can use Bluetooth, which is obviously the easiest way here on your Mac. Comes in three different colors from white, black to space gray. If you want to learn more about any of their new tech, you can find and links for it down below in the description. Notifications that have been summarized by Apple Intelligence will have a new icon as well as italicized text. That way users will know what is an AI summary versus what is direct text. Plus, you can more easily control your notifications. You can disable AI summarize directly from the lock screen. If you go into the summarized notification settings, you also see that Apple labels them as they may contain errors. Another new Apple Intelligence feature is for visual intelligence on the iPhone 16 line. Visual intelligence is invoked by holding the camera control and helps you identify what you're seeing. The 18.3 update now supports the recognition of plants and animals. Just point the camera at either of those and once it recognizes it, it will show you what it is at the top of the screen. When you tap it, it can give you more information via Wikipedia, like this plant in the kitchen. Plus, it can now automatically add things to your calendar. So if you point it at a note, like this one written here, uh, it'll actually pull out that date and time and can be scheduled for you. It's super quick, and 
when you visit the calendar app, you can actually see the appointment was created and even has an image of the original event that it saved. If we move over to the calculator app, a small feature that Apple brought back, after doing a calculation such as 10 plus 10, you can repeat the same calculation by hitting the equal sign again. Every time you hit equals, it does the same calculation as many times as you need. This is handy, though swipe to delete is still no longer possible. Next in the new features is Apple's 2025 Unity wallpapers. These were announced alongside a new Unity Sport Loop Band for Apple Watch. The band has a cool lenticular effect that changes how it looks based on the angle that you view it from. The red and green threads play with the light for a really cool appearance. This is probably one of my favorite Unity Bands that Apple has released. And of course, it matches up with corresponding face for your Apple Watch that arrives in watchOS 11.3, which is also now available, by the way. And then there are the matching wallpapers available on iPhone and iPad. Here you can see the previous releases as new as well as these new ones. Uh, they just look really, really cool. So that's basically it with the new features. That brings us to bug fixes because there's quite a few of them here. Most bug fixes Apple doesn't spell out specifically, but they do highlight some of the bigger ones that users had experienced. For example, when trying to use Type to Siri, the keyboard would sometimes not display. This has been fixed. Now, you can double tap the bottom and the keyboard will always appear as it should. Another bug was going around that caused music to continue playing even after the music app was closed. This too has been fixed. One thing we didn't get in this update that we expected, I really expected it, was support for robotic vacuum cleaners. This was supposed to come out sometime in 2024. It didn't. I thought it would be in this update. The code was there, but no. I'll continue to test this, but as of now, there does not appear to be support for RoboVacs and Mops in 18.3. As I said, this update is now for you, out now for you to download, but what comes next? Apple is expecting to release the first beta of iOS 18.4 this week with a full release coming in April. Unlike iOS 18.3, that is a relatively minor update, 18.4 is poised to be a huge update. First. This update will deliver the new version of Siri with personal context. Siri will more understand you and be able to answer more questions about you and that are more relevant to you. It can remember things like, hey, can you look at my TSA pre number from messages uh, or uh, look at this message from uh, my wife or something? It can find all that information on your device and present it to you and it can remember things going forward. It will also have on screen awareness so you can ask questions about what you're looking at. Like if you see an address on the screen, you can ask, you know, Apple's assistant to just add it to your contacts. There are new app intents too. Apple says there will be more than 100 new actions across its own apps that the digital assistant will be able to do. A few examples Apple provided early is asking Siri to enhance a photo for you, send an email to a person you had already written in drafts, or to add something to a specific note that you created. These are all provided to developers too, to expand in-app control, and we'll likely see a bunch of apps getting updated to coincide with that 18.4 release. Of course, we'll also hopefully have robotic vacuum support, but who knows? So get downloading iOS 18.3 now, and let me know if you spot any other new changes or features down below in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.